Hey guys, and welcome back to Deep Fear. When we last left off, we uh, were basically giving new orders to go and bail out the Special Forces team, which has been sent in to go fight the bad guys, I guess, in the air system. I can't actually remember exactly why they were sent to the air system, but they've been sent there to fight or something. But apparently if they fight in there, they're going to blow the place up. So we have to go and deal with that. Uh, been a bit of a stressful week. One of our cats has disappeared. Uh, he's been gone now for nearly three days. So if you do hear any strange noises in the background, I've let my other cat into the gaming room because uh, they were a bonded pair. And the other one is very unhappy that his brother has disappeared. So, uh, to stop... Ooh, hello. To stop him feeling so lonely, I've let him come in here with me. Damn sales. Open up. This is my turf. Wow. It opened. What do you want? Danny, get the gondola ready. The SEALs are heading towards the air unit area. If they fight there, it'll be a disaster. Come with me to the launch area. Okay, so everybody seems to know that that's going to be a disaster, except the SEAL team and the people who apparently approved the mission in the first place. So I have quite a few questions here. Um, right. Apparently, though, if we go somewhere else... Um... If we go... Oh, let's have a look on the map. If we go to the sea farm area... Which I believe is down here, actually, anyway... Let's well we've saved it anyway. Um there's a optional cutscene we can get apparently. Go to B1, I guess. Which is what I was trying to get, but obviously I can't really remember my way around because I haven't played this game for well, yeah, probably about a week. I was gonna say it's but it feel it feels like it's been forever, but it actually hasn't. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'm running on about, I don't know, I probably had like ooh, 10 hours sleep in the last uh, three days, four days, I don't know how many days, loads of days, uh, some amount of days, because I've been trying to stay up all night in case my cat comes back. Um, and we've spent most of our evenings out exploring our local area looking for the cat. Needless to say... Not 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 a good time, but let's forget our misery with some video games, shall we? Um, okay, so what have we got here? That's the gondola where we need to go. Actually, that's the storage. Ah, right. There's the sea farm. I want to try and go to the sea farm. There's the sea farm. Apparently, there's yes. Optional cutscene through here. Which should be interesting. I'm, I don't know what it's about, but I just have optional cutscene written down in my notes if we try and go this way. Somewhere. I guess that is actually the sea farm. At least there's no, like, oxygen limit here. For now. Well, I mean, I guess this is the breeding pool. <gasps> Are we going to go find somebody? Oh, she is in the breeding pool. Dolphin. Is that Echo? How are you, Sharon? John? Sorry, I was half asleep. <laughs> you must be tired. How's it going? The work is good, but I can't sleep at night. <laughs> are you in love? Of course not. John, this dolphin likes me a lot. It's good to be liked by everybody. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything if it's not the one you like the most. I 
I'm sorry, what was that conversation about? Are you in love? Uh, that's very strange. Are you asking her if she's in love with the dolphin? Uh, the, the man that died? Okay, okay. yeah, that, that, hmm. That was a very strange, um turn of events that we just witnessed there. And one second, I need to go check my window. Oh. Yeah, so Milo has curled up on a little bed. Looking out the window, hoping his brother's come going to come back. I guess. Yeah, what an interesting. Uh, <laughs> is interesting the correct word? <laughs> um, Cutscene. I mean, that's, right? Okay. Whatever. Whatever game. Sure. I mean, we're fighting lobster men, and we have space monkeys. So. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't expect this game to get like uh uh get start getting into philosophical philosophical philosophy. There we go. Wasn't it, didn't expect it to start getting yes yes yes. So the gondola is where we need to go to next. Control room and the gondola. Okay. Right. Well. <sighs> Uh, where's this room go? Oh, this is the gondola port. Okay. Yeah, weren't these doors shut first time we came through here? Philosophical bloody conversations in this game. Really? At least I guess that's what that was. The gondola is back in place. You can go anytime. What are you going to do? I'm calling the seals back. Oh, I have to take care of the docking unit. So I'll let you take care of this big job. <coughs> I have one word of warning, though. What? The air unit area has no air system. In case there is a fight, watch the oxygen. Okay. Brilliant. John, don't die. <laughs> Try not to. Um, okay, so I can't tell if he was being sarcastic with us, uh, to be honest with you. And uh, notice how he called it the gondola. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've never heard it described as a gondola before, but sure, let's go with that. Now, can we get, before we head over to the gondola, can we see if we can go to this control room? And if we can, is there any goodies within said control room? <clears throat> Apparently there's no oxygen over in the air facility, which... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so, with everything that's happened. We can go to the control room. So we'll be coming, coming back to the gondola later. Now, have we got any monsters in here? Uh, no. No. Oh. It's got a whole load of potentially nothing. Any ammo? Or is this just a random room that we can actually, you know, go into, but there's no, doesn't actually serve any purpose. A flavor room without any flavor. Maybe we need to come back here later. I mean, that's also perfectly possible and quite likely, I guess. Right, anyway, let's go back to the gondola and try not to die in the air facility and, you know, carry out our big job as our friend was, he was taking the piss, wasn't he? He's far too busy um, to be distracted with such medial tasks. Can we read this poster? There's not a lot of flavor in this game. Like Res uh, One thing I will say, another comparison, like Resident Evil was very, um, would you say interactive or explorable? There was a lot of stuff in Resident Evil that you could examine, and Silent Hill for that matter, that you could examine and you get a nice bit of flavor text. This game doesn't seem to have that, to be honest. Okay. Which, considering Resident Evil was the benchmark, that's fine. You know, you understand that. Even Dino Crisis, but that one... That was made by the same people, so, you know, that makes sense. Right. Let's go. Let's go through. Let's use the gondola to go through to the 
Oh god, that It's quite a fast gondola. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna ask for disc two? What are they shooting at? I will say the music is wonderfully um, atmospheric. <laughs> it didn't really match up with the visuals. Looks like the SEAL team's been wiped out. Um, yeah, they apparently were shooting at absolutely nothing and all got exterminated. Maybe if they were shooting at whatever was trying to kill them, they would have had more success. But hey, I can't comment. I wasn't there. Uh, we just had a, a, a vision, I guess, of what was going on. Uh, doesn't look like they set anything off in the air unit area, which was good. Didn't quite have the weight or the epicness of, um, oh, I don't know, let's pick a scene from Resident Evil. Say, for instance, when Hunk's team got wiped out by Birkin in the sewers. Remember that? Do you remember how cool that was? I remember how cool that was. That was awesome. Or, for instance, some of the many scenes, like the intro from Resident Evil 2, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, very unfair um, comparison. Now, don't get, don't get it twisted. I'm not ragging on this game. I'm actually really, really, really enjoying this game. I'm just highlighting the, the, the things that I'm basically noticing. Okay. Let's have a little explore through here. I personally think, so far, this game's not bad. Yeah, this we saw them all getting wiped out in here, didn't we? Okay, we've got plenty of air grenades. We've got our uh, rebreather. Right, let's go back through here. So we should, more or less, be okay. I say should. Explore... Oh the control panel for the gondola you need the control key to operate it okay well i don't know why we'd want to operate it as long as we can just get back if we need to get back all right that's fine so i guess we have to go through this door this game is also fairly linear at least it feels linear but then as we discussed you know in prior videos resident evil was also quite linear but it did a good job of hide oh hello sailor you know, what does that say? What a tragic, what a tragic end! He bled to death. He did. He um, he did. At least we got a storage area here, so hopefully we can get some equipment. I mean, I guess we don't have to stop these guys. We don't have to stop these guys pulling off their crazy suicidal mission if they're already dead uh, co correct me if I'm wrong I might be wrong but you know surely we can just go back now oh hello even in sweet cheeks what do you think of this huh jeez if only these marines all these Navy SEALs brought uh, a shotgun with them. Everything would have been fine. Right, that's the floor two. We don't really want to pop floor two yet. Let's get some oxygen out here. You do get a decent amount of air. Um, to be honest. Wow. Wow, we have a lot of doors to explore. Okay, let's start at the top. Work our way down, I guess.
air pump room. That sounds like somewhere we probably want to have a little fiddle with. We're underwater. We're underwater. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. I don't know if we're equipped to repair this. The torpedo is stuck without exploding. So that is where indeed the torpedo hit. The compressor is destroyed. That's really unfortunate. Okay. So we can't do anything with the air pump room. I mean, you can't even push the torpedo back out. Kind of a good shot with that torpedo, to be honest. Although the warhead wasn't armed, uh, I guess we should be thankful for that. The air refinery. Okay, can we scrub the air with the air refinery? Is there any way we can get some oxygen back online? Zero air in here whatsoever. Okay, let's take our air mask off. Oh. I guess... He's been ripped to shreds. There's a pool of blood. I'll take your word for it, Chief. He's been ripped to shreds. You can't even recognize his face. So what has ripped these heavily armed guys to pieces? Are they just utterly incompetent like most of the time in these survival horror games? Or is there something big and burly stalking these halls? Hopefully there's something big and burly. But I guess we're going to find out. Oh, hello. What a tragic end. I can see his agony. Oh, oh, very nice. Very good. Ve Ooh, yeah, keep him coming. Anything else? Well, that guy seems like he's still alive. Uh, deactivate the lock to the air storage. Air storage? Uh, not yet. This guy looks like he's still breathing. So you're consuming my very valuable oxygen. Can we not talk to you? Really? Seems pretty obvious that he's still alive. There we go. Help! The monster got us all. We better get the key back. You lost the key. Now we have an oxygen limit. The lock has been deactivated. You useless git. So not only did you get all your men killed somehow, you lost the key as well. I mean, look at all these bullet holes all over the walls. What were they shooting here? Each other, maybe? I don't know. Seems more likely than anything else. Okay. Now, I'm guessing some of these bodies are going to start mutating. Nothing yet. And I'm pretty sure when we first came in through here, we didn't have an oxygen limit. And now we do. What gives? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. As my friend Chris said, um, maybe we should have brought some butter with us. Seems like a, a decent idea. Right. Okay. So, so far, so far we haven't found anything. Do we have to find a key? Ah, this is back to the gondola port. Yeah, we should have brought some butter to fight these lobster men. And, uh, Chris? Oh, hello. I think you're onto something. Blood. Or blood. Wait. Is this fresh blood? Excellent. Shotgun at the... Ra oh, yeah, you can't open the doors of the shotgun out, can you? Right. Without the gondola, you can't... Uh, okay. Ah, that's what we need the gondola key for, I guess. It's a control panel for the gondola. You need the control key to operate it. Do we actually have the control key? Did we go back and watch the VTR? I think we did, didn't we? Right, well, we don't have... 
anything. So we only have a choice of four rooms. So somewhere in these four rooms, or maybe on one of the bodies, there should be a key. I guess? Maybe? Or have we missed something? Uh, We've probably missed something. So that's the control room. We've got the air refinery. Storage. Nothing in the storage. Maybe in the air pump, I guess. I mean, it didn't look like there was anything there, but... Alright, we've gone... Okay, we need to turn around. Yeah, this place is a mess, man. Absolute mess. Look at the state of it. So I guess it could be here somewhere. Air unit area, air pump room. So, do we have a key? Looking for a key. I'm guessing it's going to be somewhat obvious. So, it doesn't... Torpedo is stuck without exploding. Yeah, we know that. Uh... Maybe it was an old uh, tiger fish torpedo from the Royal Navy. You know, those things. Useless. Utterly useless torpedoes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so there's definitely nothing in there. At least nothing as far as I can tell. I mean, the air refinery, maybe. Maybe we need to talk to that guy again. Because wasn't there another dude that we had to talk to a couple of times before he actually gave us stuff? Yeah, pool of blood. Uh, oh. Stun grenade. Okay. Yeah, we definitely... It definitely pays to search these corpses multiple times. Or I guess search anything multiple times. Question mark. Uh, right. He doesn't have anything. That guy's foot has stopped twitching, which I'm guessing is a thing. Good thing. Yeah, he stopped twitching now. See, the door to the air storage is deactivated, which is fine, but where's the air storage? Air refinery. Storage. Air pump room. Gondola port. There's... Air storage room. Not a peaceful death for him indeed. Yep, more stun grenades. So, the air storage room has been opened, but... Where the hell's the air storage room? You would... Oh! Oh! Oh, right, we can go down to floor two, can't we? I am a moron of the highest order. Absolute bellend. <clears throat> of course there is a floor two. There's always a floor two. So I'm guessing we're going to go to floor two and there's going to be some, like, giant manly monster thing. With muscles on its muscles. Now, where was the elevator? The elevator was down past the storage room. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we'll go to floor two. I can't believe I forgot there's a floor two. What a... What a dingus I am. All I've been doing, apart from panicking and fretting over a cat, is playing Breath of the Wild. So maybe that's somewhat affecting my, my brain. Because in Breath of the Wild, there is no elevators. Only the ones you make yourself. Ah, we have more dead people. So I'm guessing whatever we unlocked was probably that door behind us. Yeah, air storage. See? Oh, hello. <gasps> Action music. Um... What the cheese and biscuits is that? Um. Uh. 
Whatever it is, it can take shotgun shells like an absolute champion. Not convinced we can even kill the thing. Can we kill it? Maybe? Was that a boss? I, th I th think that was a boss. Um, well, this looks rather bad. Oh, shit. What's this about? Um, uh, okay. Right, let's put the gun back. Yeah, what? I don't know what that monster thing was, but we killed it. So I guess we can recharge our oxygen here. Uh, shit. The C4 bomb has been set. The timer is running. You can't deactivate it. Right, so we just have to es escape. I never thought that that experimental mouse would grow so huge. Yeah, well. Wait, it had the key. Of course it had the key. Uh, why not, right? Why not? Give the mouse the key. Unbelievable, I tell you. Right, we've got zombies now, because of course we do. I'm guessing all those bodies have now become monster men, which is good. We like monster men. Gives our shotgun something to get uh, excited about. Oh, hello. Yeah, these things are quite tough from what I can remember. Uh oh. Awful time to reload. Is that ever a good time to reload? Well, to be honest. Oh, hi. To be honest, let's go recharge our ammo. Might also be wise to get out of here. But, you know, I'd rather be escaping with a pocket full of shells. Uh, right. 66 shells. Lovely. Uh, and I suppose whilst we're here... Let's eat an F8 kit. Should we eat another one? I mean, I guess these things aren't exactly hard to come by, are they? All right, let's go. Yeah, these areas are very linear, aren't they? They really are. Every time you kind of get a sense that this is an open exploration area, it really isn't. Uh, think that's the gondola there? Question mark. Thanks. Yes. Yes, it is. So, I guess there's going to be no way of actually repairing this area then, because it's about to explode. Now, I have other questions. Like, who set the bomb? Because everybody was dead. And the guy who was dying made no mention of said bomb. It's a bit rude, really. That also doesn't look like C4, but what do I know?
Oh god, we haven't actually gone back yet. Oh right, that was just us waiting for the gondola to arrive. Oh my. Really? This is Elbridge. Our Harrier has fallen into the ocean. Prepare for impact. Commander, a large object is dropping this way. <laughs> Next. Are they trying to pull me off first string again? Sixty percent of big table lost power, but you're all right. That's what counts. Where are the seals? I couldn't help you. Well, one of them came back in the gondola. He was covered in blood from head to foot. Colonel McCoy, where did he go? I don't know. I tried to help, but he brushed me aside and went away. This is Clancy. Mayor, come back to the CCD area immediately. 
There's danger of the energy unit area melting down. I have to go. Be careful. <sighs> okay. Please change discs. Um. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah uh, mm, i'm not 100 percent sure how we do this <laughs> on this emulator you know the emulator without any ui or anything so it's probably a good time to drop a save state i hope that the save state will work um we'll see uh geez real hardware is a lot easier so there's a lot to decompress there uh, <laughs> so we we <laughs> we released all of the oxygen from air storage because there was an explosive that we weren't told about. One of the Navy SEAL dudes stole the gondola and escaped without us somehow. Um, they got wiped out by a giant rat who I guess was supposed to be a boss, although not really question mark that stole on a key. Then the giant oxygen bubble rocked the uh destroyer above us or the frigate i guess above us which conveniently knocked a harrier jump jet loose from the deck which apparently wasn't really you know <laughs> held in place properly it was just plumped on the deck with um you know some wheel chocks it uh, didn't look like the wheels were actually actually had brakes engaged or anything because it it kind of rolled off the uh the deck very easily there um and then we watched it descend angelically down which actually was a pretty cool cutscene i did like the idea that we was watching it get crushed by the depth that was pretty cool but then it missed everything hit the sea floor but bounced i guess and knocked out power Whew. Okay, there's a lot going on in this game. <laughs> like, you know, everything is just spiraling out of control. And whenever you think things can't get any more fucked up and, and worse than they actually are, well, the game kicks it up a gear. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I'm enjoying this game. It's silly. It's so much sillier and dumber than Resident Evil. Um, but it's good, silly fun. If I did have any criticisms, which I might eat my own words later, this game's very easy. Yeah, there isn't any difficulty options or anything. This game, I, we haven't even died. Have we died once? I don't think we have. Like, the enemies are just a non-threat, really. But maybe they're going to throw something at us later, which will change that. But, ah, what a game. Anyway, till next time, guys. Till next time.